Hello, my name is Jerry Shue. I'm a value stream manager here at the Aarons Company in Brilliant, Wisconsin. Manufacturer of outdoor power equipment. We established ourselves here in Brilliant in 1933. I think the thing about the Aarons Company that uh, most draws people to our product is our reputation for quality. Um, it's not uncommon for us to get uh, comments from users in the field who have had their snowblower for 30 or even 40, 50 years and have had to do virtually nothing with it to keep it running. So we take that reputation as a quality manufacturer very seriously. In this plant, about 90% of what we weld is actually welded robotically. Our robot fleet was old, um, mid-90s. It was pieced together over the years, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We're losing support for them. We weren't able to get parts for some of the brands. We had many experiences where we'd lose a couple days or a day or two at a crack just because we were unable to get parts. And if we did find parts, the price was astronomical. Quality does take a, a front seat, if you will, to productivity. But productivity obviously is important for us to keep our costs down and to be able to compete with manufacturers overseas. There was three or four of us. We traveled around a little bit to some of the major players in the game and spent a couple days at your facility, spent a couple days at a few of the others. We sent a pile of parts and some of our fixturing, see how they would work, how, it, how your cells would perform. And we were given a, a zip drive back with a video that was taken of our parts being welded on your cells with your robots. And it was excellent. It was the stuff you want to see when you're trying to make a decision on, on what, what works, what doesn't work. And we could definitely tell a difference. When we first got involved with uh, Miller, we needed we wanted to use the same type of um, logic that we're using throughout our plant. Working through Miller, it wasn't an uh, issue. They just went ahead and added our system onto it. We went through using their checkoff list and matching our checkoff list, and it made the implementation of putting this unit out on the floor a lot smoother. We took delivery on the cells and within two weeks we were able to have them up and running and in production we were able to take one of our old cells out one day and by that afternoon be welding parts again. Once the unit came in we adapted our fixtures and subplates to the Miller uh, machine and then the following week the Miller tech came in and helped uh, certify the, the equipment, get it up and running, helped our uh, robot techs uh, run our fixturing. He was here when we had our um, operators come in, and so he stood by us through the whole process. As soon as we were ready to swap them out, it took less than 24 hours to swap the two out. We know that in order for us to ensure uh, that we're making the highest quality product, that we also have to strategically team with vendors on the outside that are able to support us and are able to produce the kind of quality that we need in our product. And uh, it's, it's very important for us to choose the right vendors when we, when we make major strategic decisions like which robotic partner to team with.